My name is Julian Boucher and I play football. I started playing soccer when I was five years old. My dad built a little goal in our garden and let us always play. I have three brothers so we kept around there and then I started loving it and never left. I left Germany four years ago for school. I went to Syracuse University in upstate New York. I played in the third division in Germany um, when I was 17. I, I played a couple games there and I was kind of in between of really making it or not. So then I decided to go kind of safe, go to school and then afterwards uh, good things happened. I got drafted by DC United and now I'm here for the LA Galaxy. I think the biggest difference to uh, or from America to Germany is that every youth club over there or a professional club has a really structured academy and I think it's growing here in the United States as well. But every 17 year old or 18 year old doesn't think about going to college, they go right away to the professional environment. And that's kind of the difference here that the kids mostly go to college if they don't make it. And because it's not as established as it is over there, it's very difficult for a kid to decide to take a risk and go for a professional soccer or take a scholarship, which is a great opportunity as well. This means a lot to us. It means a lot to the country. I remember the day when we were celebrating the World Cup final and uh, actually Mario Goethe's goal, so it was incredible. I used to play a little with him together, I experienced his skill set, so it was even more like, I kind of felt like I was almost there winning the World Cup a little bit with him. He did it for the country, he's a country hero now, and um, it just feels amazing being on top of the world a little bit. The life of a pro soccer player is not always as glorious as people think. There's a lot more behind it. Um, it's, there have been days that soccer is not the greatest thing in the world for me, but even though it's like a, I love it, but sometimes it's a love and hate relationship. Um, you're always going to be on your toes. Soccer is, um, it always happens in the present and never in the past. No one looks back and thinks, oh, you did great yesterday. You always have to be constant as a professional athlete, but that's what we all love as well. We learn to deal with that pressure and we learn how to perform, and it's, um, it's still at the end of the day. We are allowed to kick this beautiful ball and we are allowed to do what we love, so uh, I can't complain at all. Um, I'm studying for my master's degree right now. I'm trying to take care of this. I do other things, I try to do some volunteer work as well and just spread the love of soccer. I have two boots I really like. It's the, one of the first F50s coming out from Adidas and also the Nike Tiempos uh, Ronaldinho add-on. How do I play the game? I think um, I'm a player who likes to be technical, who likes to be a step ahead of the other guys in my head and see the game early, like a kind of PLO kind of thing. He always knew ahead what he was going to go or where he's going to go and what he's going to do next. I think that's similarities I like to play. Um, I like to play the game with like less touches and going forward pretty fast. And I think my strength is that I see the field very easily and it's kind of like a quarterback kind of situation where I can spread the ball, that's what I like.